Hey everybody, Iceman50 here. So uh, my daughter wanted a uh, CD player uh, for Christmas and uh, she's like, I want a Hello Kitty <laughs> CD player. I'm like, all right. Uh, so I, I look on eBay and I, you can see it in the background here. I, I found one and it was in, it's in pretty good condition, but uh, go figure, the only thing that doesn't work is the CD player. <laughs> So uh, we're going to take a look at it and, and see what we can do. Um, kind of unfortunate. That's the whole reason I bought it. But uh, let's dig into this and see what's going on. I, I'm not quite sure what's up with it. All right, hang on. We'll be right back. All right, so um, the modes are over here. We've got off CD radio and alarm so when you you turn this thing to CD you, you, I don't know if you saw that but real quick it'll flash like it's it's trying to find the track and uh, here yeah, you see it blink um, but yeah sometimes it'll show It'll show two dashes where it's trying to find the track. You press play, nothing happens. And what's interesting is that, you know, if you know how CD players work, when uh, when you turn it on, the, the, the laser should move if it's past a certain point, and the, the CD should spin. So, you know, if, if, you, if you turn this on, you should, you should hear something, and if you open the lid, CD should be spinning and it's not um, one of the things ooh, underworld that's a good CD um, so what you can do is okay turn this off you can see I can move the laser right and then if I turn it on you see the laser moves and I'm pretty sure it goes up and down I think that all works it's just this freaking spindle. So either the spindle's dead or driver's dead or, or something. So we need to, I was thinking also a lot of times there's uh, switches in these covers so that it knows when you lift it up so it stops spinning the disc. Uh, there's, there could be like a switch down in there. You can see this has got like one of those slow, easy open lids. That's what the gear's for. But I, there could be a switch back here that's broken or not working or something. So I'm gonna pull this thing apart and uh, see if we can if we can get it to work. Um, let's take a look. gets us access to the back. You can see here's the CD stuff, here's the power supply. Um, looks like we're gonna have to kind of split this. I don't exactly know. screws in here. Start taking parts and taking out more screws. deeper here. 
Oh, how handy. So for the nine volt battery, there's a plug, easy. And from the transformer, there's a plug over here, easy. Set that aside. Hmm. Looks like we're, uh, it's definitely like, still, oh, there we go. Okay. Still feels like it's being held. Somewhere in the middle here. interested in is I think there's a switch right down in here and let's see if we can get you a little closer in here. Oops. See down down here there's what looks to be like a like a switch. I'm hoping that's all it is. Oh yeah you can definitely See, it's some kind of little switch right there. I need my x-ray goggles. Hang on, let me, uh, let me grab those. All right, after a little bit of, let's get you the zoom back down here. A little bit of prying, I got this top piece off, which is kind of what we're interested in. These are from the controls or something. That's nice, they got a plug down here. Gotta plug that, it's for the snooze and the power button and all that here and then there's here it is here's the here's the lid switch zoom you in here see it oh it totally looks bent the contacts are all bent what do you bet that's it that's what i was hoping for let's uh can you see that there we go i get a pair of pliers here and we'll straighten that out and I bet you it works. All right. Now, very carefully. Oh, I bumped you. Okay, it's like this. You want to see how this works, guys? So, that's what I said. When you lift the lid, that you see that that piece pushes on that little metal, that plastic piece, which pushes the two contacts together. So, all we got to do is just open this up a little bit more, and we may have to clean the contacts too. Okay, so they're definitely not touching. See that? And then we close the lid. No, I think they're touching. We can test that. We'll take our own meter and we'll put the connectors here and we'll just open and close this door. So there's nothing. Then we close the door. All right. And we check again. Now we have continuity. Uh, that thing was bent. That piece was bent way over and I doubt it was ever making contact. Like I said, I've worked on a lot of these uh, CD players, you know. Cause I'm old and uh, so let's see if we can um, plug this back in let's see if we can get this thing to uh, to spin up all right let's flip the switch on here now we're set on CD still Up. 
Oh, you know what? <laughs> Might help if I, uh, I think we're gonna have to plug in this, uh, this one board here. Let's get this open. I think that's the one thing I didn't do is plug in this, uh, this board here. Yeah, we need to plug in this one because it's got the power connector to it. It's right here. Oh, dang. What the fuck? Hang on, guys. You got to see this. solder on there. Shit you not. Dang. A... There was totally this there was totally this blob of solder in there. I just picked it off. It, uh, I don't know where that came from, but see? Look. stuck on the wires there. That was pretty crazy. All right, let's uh, zoom this back out and plug this in. this back on. Still no. Okay, it's off. CD. Oh, you hear that? I'm pretty sure it was spinning. Yep, and now look. It's reading the tracks. Question is, will it find them? Oh, I heard it spin way up. Searching. Searching. It's trying to find the disc. It could be that the lens is dirty. We can clean that with some... Uh, some isopropyl alcohol, that happens all the time too. But you see, and if we open this up, what the, it was definitely, okay, now we need to see what's going on. Cause it sounds like it's, it's spinning, but uh, we open that up, the disc should be spinning pretty good. I can see my disc isn't super clean either. The hell is on there? I actually keep my discs in pretty good condition. Let's see here. So we should be able to watch the spindle. Let me get you in close here. close the lid we should see the spindle okay you see the laser going up yep spindle sp spindle motor spinning see that I think it does it like three times and then it tries to then it stops and it um, all right so what can we do here can we maybe we can take this Maybe what I'll do is I'll take the switch out and then uh, we can kind of flop this this over here. Let's uh, let's do that. Turn that back on. If I touch the switch, 
Oh, we gotta turn the power on. And then, see now the laser moves up and down. Spindle's nice and quiet. All right, so let's, dragging on here with this we may have to check the uh let me pause this before i get copyrighted into oblivion so um it may be that this thing is kind of sagging a little bit you know there's these rubber isolators on here it could have kind of sunk down we'll have to look at that we might have to put some some washers uh under take these screws out these screws right right here take those screws out put some washers under there to kind of lift this whole assembly up. I think maybe it was dragging on the, the thing here. So uh, I'll take a look at that and uh, we'll come back and let you know. But you can see it's working. So um, I'm glad I was able to fix that. That happens all the time. Things get, you know, in these doors and that the, the pieces get bent. So let's, uh, I'll bring you back when, when we get it all together. All right. something that might work to uh, raise up uh, the CD piece it's it, these uh, isolators are kind of allowing the thing to sit too low so I already did it for the one but I got so I got the isolator and I found these little uh, plastic washers with a thing in the middle so see it like goes in here and then we just Push it back on there, and then uh, we'll just do this for the four, the four sides. Like that. Okay. Put this one on here. Kind of like, kind of like that. One more. And all these do is uh, these are just vibration dampeners for the for the CD player. So if you bump it, it helps reduce skipping, and it just kind of all floats there. So you see, we got the fourth one. We stick that back in the hole. So now, when we set this whole thing back down, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely sitting higher up. Um, we got our our screws here. Put two of them back on there. Uh, we can we can put them all back on. There. I think this is gonna work pretty good. So now you tighten this thing down. We've we've raised the whole assembly up. See, it's still got some. It's still got a little give, but it's no longer sitting down because the bottom of the washer is hitting the the post, and so it's not sagging. some isopropyl yeah that works let me uh let me pause this while i'll put the lid back on here and uh we'll see if that uh see if we can put the whole thing back together hang on all right we got the cover on i still haven't i i've got the you see back here i taped the the switch together because i took it out of the top of the case so we could play with this thing so technically it thinks the uh cover's closed yeah. oh yeah now it doesn't drag, it spins, it spins nice and free, see that? So let's uh, flip on the power. And it should spin up. There you go. See, 11. How 
how annoying. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Now we can uh, put this thing all back together and uh, test it one more time. And uh, that thing was like 35 bucks, but it's like vintage. You can see it's got some, the, the plastic's um, kind of um, faded or whatever. Shit, I think this thing's probably from like the, if I had to guess, the 90s. But uh, that's pretty cool. You know, I had an idea. Um, to make this thing super cool, maybe I'll, I'll uh, order a Bluetooth module and we'll find some power inside and we'll hook it up to the CD audio output so that when you're not playing a CD, you can stream Bluetooth uh, music right to it. I've done this before. In fact, I've done it. So I got this, this stereo over here that I've done that too. There's a, uh, in fact, this one I just have plugged in and uh, I took a wire and this goes, I got rid of the FM uh, radio on this thing. And now I just got uh, Bluetooth plugged into it so I can play music Bluetooth right to this uh, speak, uh, that stereo. So we can do the same thing with this one. And then, you know, you can, whenever you're not playing a CD, you can play Bluetooth, you know, vice versa. So that'd be pretty cool. Maybe we could add like a little switch somewhere, you know, we wouldn't even have to, as long as you don't play, I mean, it'd be funny because if you played Bluetooth and the CD at the same time, you know, it's just, it would mix together or whatever. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see what happens when I put this whole thing back together. All right. Now, so we hope for the hope for the best, plan for the worst. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's turn it back on here. So I got my okay. I love that stuff used to flash twelve all the time. It's great, right? All right, where did we leave off here? Uh, let's flip this back on. the alarm stop the clock stop blinking that's how you know it's a product from the 90s and it just flashes 12 Let's CD in there it spins nice it's not dragging on the on the floor of it anymore Eleven tracks. Make sure this.
Come on. There we go. it's all back and fixed up next time you see this thing we'll be uh probably be adding some bluetooth so it thanks for uh, coming along and watching me uh fix a christmas gift all right everybody easy <laughs>